Well, happy Sunday and welcome to the venue live. My name is Roger Ramirez again, and this is Houston's first online live venue brought to you from R&R Studio. We are here in the studio with my good friends from Blacktop Revelry. Thank you guys for joining us. Did I, hey, I said it right, right? You got it right. You got it right. I he was, was so sure I was going to mess it it's up. It's the third time that he's done it, and he's messed it up both times before. <laughs> so. so, fellas, tell us about yourself. Well, first your names, and uh, yeah, tell us your names and what you do in the band. So, I'm Justin, and I sing and stuff. Uh, Billy Smith, uh, the drummer. Uh, Michael Gorsuch, I'm the bass player. I'm Chuck, I play guitar. <laughs> so Chuck has been here multiple times. He's in a lot of our past videos. That's enough about Chuck. <laughs> so we don't hear about him. <laughs> so fellas, tell us about yourself and who you got and, and how you came together as a band. So uh, we've been uh, we've been playing together these guys, these three guys here, Chuck, Billy, and I, uh, for the last almost two years now. And uh, we were we were doing more country. You know, we were doing that country scene. And uh, we're still kind of like a country band, but we wanted to go more towards the uh, the rock and roll side of it, um, like the Red Dirt, the Red Dirt side. Awesome. And uh, Michael was actually in my first band uh, back from 2015 to 17, and he was like, hey, man, Blacktop Revelry sounds like a cool deal. And so we're starting fresh. We were pretty successful, but we wanted to do it our way. And so we're here. And we're starting fresh, and it's going to awesome. be killer. You hear R and R Studios? Yeah, R and R Studios. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, and, so uh, yeah, so ahead, no, this is our first show. So, oh, awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, uh, thank you for You're choosing me. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You got a great smile, so, so I'm all about so it. So tell us, tell us, tell us, um, why did you decide to play originals as opposed from the typical covers? Well, uh, we all came from cover bands, and the, the whole thing was we were tired of it, you know? Not tired of, of it, but we wanted to do our thing, and we wanted to do, you know, take a shot at this crazy thing that everybody's taking a shot at, you know? And uh, we felt that we had something different to offer than everybody else is offering. We have our own sound. You know, it, to me, the Blacktop Revelry sound is not essentially sounding like anybody else right now. And buddy, you sound great. Oh, um, no. We did sound check no. and <laughs> and it was <laughs> like it was like listening to to an album. It was great. Don't you patronize it me, was, boy. It was great. It was great, man. It was sounding great. So, tell me about the name. How did the name come about? Uh so uh Revelry is one of our favorite Kings of Leon songs and for the longest time I just thought it meant sex. <laughs> and which is cool, which is cool for me. But I, probably, I guess I probably don't even but know what it, it means. If you don't even know, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with the song "Revelry" by Kings of Leon, look it up. It's a great song. But uh, it just means like it's essentially a party with loud music and you know a good time is what Revelry is. You know, just sounds, having a great time. That sounds great. And Blacktop, what the Blacktop part came from. You know, we're always on the road. We're always doing it. We've made most of our craziest memories just being on the road. Half pancake highway, <laughs> you know everything. Being crazy in Oklahoma, we've got so many stories, uh, and it's all come from being on the road. And so, really, it, what it was was just things that we loved. We was like, you know, it wasn't even like a thing. This sounds cool. Let's think of the coolest thing we can think of. It was just something that we all were like, "That's cool, man. Awesome. That, we believe in that." That's a fantastic answer, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about your influences. Uh, so I mean, we we've got crazy influence. You know, Billy comes from like the reggae side. He likes that nice. stuff. Jimmy Buffett, yeah. which is which is not reggae, cool. but but Jimmy Buffett is for Cheers. some reason the weirdest. I uh, I don't even want to talk about it. But like for me, Kings of Leon was a huge uh, yeah. influence of my musical career. And like Randy Rogers, who is a Texas artist, he is a great writer, and I just love great. You know, well, we need to get music. him here in the studio. Too. We need to get him here. Yeah. If you're watching, Randy, official Randy, I love you, baby. But uh, what it do, baby? But uh, but no, it's just. Uh, and I know Michael likes Kings of Leon. You know, we Chuck. I don't know what he likes. He's forty. He likes Doctor Greer. Uh, <laughs> he likes, he likes Doctor Greer. <laughs> he was taking his girlfriend to the Bob back in the fifties. So, <laughs> but but something about Chuck and something that I will never forget. He has the sexiest deep end voice. Come on, man. Come on, Drop bro. it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Lather me up with teals, baby. <laughs> so tell us, <laughs> tell us about the songs that you have prepared for us today. Man, they're uh, 
there's only one that we've uh, sneak peeked, and that is our, uh, our going to be our first release called Lately. But they're uh, it's they're all emotional songs. They're uh, they're personal. They're written by me. Um, you know the music Chuck heavily influenced on uh, on the music, and it's just a play on. You know, we were playing country music, and Chuck, I know, is not necessarily a country musician, but he'd been playing country music for... He's a world musician. Yeah, he's a, yeah. He, he's a good musician. And Billy, he plays the drums like a rock musician. You know, it's just just that drive. And Michael, he just does it all. Michael just does it all. And we all, and we all mess up equally, and that turns into something beautiful you know the imperfections of the music each other out. yeah the imperfections of the music we play turns it into something that people have never seen before and I, and we just play on it you know we just play on it and i never get upset when things don't go the way they're supposed to or the song's not sounding how it is you just make it sound how you want it to sound you know and the thing about us is we all play exactly like we expect each other to play and so it's just a great well that's a great music. feeling yeah, it's just a great quality of music because it's authentic, it's real, and it's believable. And I'm not trying to make people believe me, but <laughs> it's believable. You know, you got these posers and whatnot. Yeah. And you know, and we don't, we don't, we Fuck don't posers. claim a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> I'm fired. My label's dropping me. And this but, is brought uh, to you by. What are we drinking? Miller Lite. Miller Lite, I guess. <laughs> We're drinking labelless beer because there's nothing like being not sued. That's um, right. But yeah, we just have this thing that everybody in the band f vibes off of. Yeah, and it's dude, that's great when you uh, when you have people that you like first off like the way that they're play. Oh yeah. That that just like ninety percent of the battle right there, oh, man. Yeah. When you really admire the people that you work with. <laughs> that you play with and it's just I mean it obviously becomes a family and you get to know each other at a much deeper level which is music and and you don't even have to really at that point see each other to to understand you understand each other's tone it the way he hits the drums yeah. you don't have to see yeah. it if you just hear it you know where he's going and that's a fantastic feeling in music it's a, it's it's just an awesome bond yeah it's a great it's a great thing and that's why I mean Y'all sound great together. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. These guys, they kill it. And that's the thing for me is I want to surround, necessarily for me, myself, I know these guys are the same way, but surround yourself with people you believe are better than you, better yeah. musicians, because they're going to better you. Chuck's going to be like, hey, man, that sounds like shit, bro. <laughs> like, you know what? We Typical ain't playing Chuck. that shit. We ain't playing that. And, and Billy, he doesn't really care, <laughs> but Billy's a great drummer. You know, he's yeah. just like, let's jam, man. Let's just jam. And Michael, same way. I'm jamming. Right, I'm jammed, and that's what we are about. I don't say we're a jam band because we have structure in our songs, but we're jamming. And you sure are. All right, guys. Well, we're not gonna keep our crowd waiting. We are streaming this to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Subscribe. It helps out. Spread the word. Uh, if you are on Facebook, give us a like and share the event. We want to make sure that Blacktop Revelry. There you go. That's it. All right. It's heard all over the place. Make sure to spread their music. Uh, we are going to put all their social media after the videos post uh, just to make sure that people can uh, go to their social media and follow them. If you're on Twitter, give us a couple of hearts uh, and share the event. But uh, at this point, guys, let's get ready. Let's not keep them waiting anymore. Let's do it, baby bubbles. So we're going to take a minute break while these guys go to their spots. We're going to do a little preset right here, but we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Shake it's that healthy butt. It's going to take one minute. Thank you, guys.